different today. Uh, I saw a couple of other Poketubers upload this and I thought it'd be fun. Um, and this is the Sporkle.com Pokemon quiz. We're just naming the first 151 Pokemon. Uh, there's a 12 minute timer. I'm going to do my best not to use the poker app. I do know the poker app. Um, I have that memorized. So we'll try not to use that. And we'll just see how this goes. Uh, all right, let's 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 just go here. Um, just go in order, you know? If you guys haven't done this before, of course, you can find this quiz on sporkle.com. Um, I actually haven't done this in a long time. So, I know one thing I stumble over a lot in these quizzes is sometimes the spelling of Gyarados and the spelling of, uh, uh, or like what, whether or not you need a hyphen or a period in some names. That's annoying because sometimes you don't always think about that. Um, so we're just going to go in order for the first few here. But, uh, and I don't think that using the poker app is cheating, especially if you've memorized that. I don't, I haven't quite learned the third poker app, but, uh, yeah, it, the third generation poker app, rather, but, uh, I could use parts of that, or even if you use the, um, the Weird Al Yankovic everybody Pokemon, Polkamon, excuse me, you could use that if you wanted to, if you really wanted to, um, Takuna and Beedrill, um, Wonder we're on 16. Rattata. Uh, eradicate. Oh, I forgot the Pidgey line. Derp, derp, derp. Oh, wow. And that's another thing, too, when it fills it in. Uh, it kind of throws me off for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Ekans and Arbok. Um, we're not the Pikachu yet because we're not at 25, but I'll go ahead and do Pikachu and Raichu. Just to finish off this column. I don't remember who I'm missing right there. Is it? Oh, nope. I don't remember who I'm missing. I'll come back to it. Again, trying really hard not to use the... Oh. The, um... The poker app. Blah. This is hard to... It's hard to talk and type while thinking of the list of Pokemon at the same time. I feel like I'm going to get to a point where... Uh... I was going to start doing random ones that I'm thinking of. I can do the first column basically in order. Ah, Graveler. There we go. And then Golem. And I guess I'll, I might as well do the other trios while I'm here. With Machop, Machimp, and Machoke. And then of course there's Ghastly, and Haunter, and Gengar. Gengar being the shadow Pokemon. That always makes me think of Clefairy because of course they're very related. So the Fable, and then I still have Alakazam, and Kadabra, and Abra, just to go backwards, because we can. Why not go backwards? I'm at 9 minutes, not doing too badly here. 42 out of 151 so far. Um, but yeah, it, it's just sometimes the, uh, the association between different words there makes me think. For some reason, I just randomly thought of Dodrio and Doduo. So those are going down now. And that makes me... Oh, that's who I forgot. I feel silly now. Firo and Spiro. There's the first call up. Alrighty then. We're good to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Golduck and Psyduck. And while we're on water types, we'll knock out Lapras, which of course makes me think of Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres for some reason, because I know that there was always at the last part of the Pokedex. And then we'll have Snorlax alongside Dratini, Dragonair, and uh, Dragonite. And then we know Mewtwo, okay, or the thing could go ahead and fill in Mew. I wanted to put in Mew last, but you know, sure, we can go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any strategies for, for doing quizzes like these, especially because there's quizzes for the Pokemon moves, uh, all the generations, um, Pokemon word association, or filling in the blink and determining whether a Pokemon is caught or not, They people have really put quizzes in here for everything, so it's a little bit... Um, overwhelming, I guess, the amount of possible quizzes you could have. Uh, we're going to do Oshkoom and Vileplume. Um, we're going to do... That's another one I have a trouble spelling of Execute. And Executor. There we go. Um, not the Executor of a Will, just the Psychic Grass Pokemon Executor. Uh, we're going to do Poliwag. 
Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath. I realized the other day that Poliwrath is such a nice counter to Caldeo, uh, being immune to the water move and, and, and not really caring about the fighting type move. Not a counter, I guess, a check, because it can basically sit in its face and bulk up. I guess Sucrasaur would start to do a lot uh, if it were Specs, but you shouldn't leave anything neutral in on a Specs Caldeo. But, anyways, I digress. Um, I'm not sure why I started talking about that. Uh, when I'm recording this, I'm a little bit under the weather, but yeah, I, I thought it'd be something a little bit fun to do. And I definitely challenge you guys to see what you get in the first try. Those of you who upload videos, definitely upload yourself doing it, because I think I could zoom through this a lot better if I weren't talking, because um, I keep losing my train of thought. And I'm going to use that as my excuse for what's going on. So, onwards and upwards, uh, let's go ahead and do some more uh, fighting types here. Hit my Chana, hit my Lee. Uh, I haven't done anything in the um, Safari Zone. I'm gonna do Taros and Rhyhorn and Rhydon and Ditto's in the cave. And of course, we're gonna have uh, Chansey, whom I hate with a passion. That thing always runs away. That makes me think of Bill and the Evolution. So we'll do Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. I'll go ahead and do Eevee as well, the first palindrome Pokemon. Uh, man, we're missing a lot of Pokemon. I'll go ahead and do some random ones that I know I tend to forget at the end, like Tangela, Mr. Mime, and Far... I don't know how they want me to type Farfetch. Okay, that's how I type. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to always call it Farfetch D. I don't know why. It didn't help that it was called Ducks in the game. Um, and I did, after I traded my Spearow to get the Farfetched in the game when I was a kid, I immediately released it because I thought it looked ridiculous. So, <laughs> real smart. That's the only far-fetched in the game. Uh, I, I could have made better choices, we'll say. Um, let's go ahead and get some more uh, stone evolutions here. Um, I, man, I'm completely blanking on so many of these. I guess I'll go ahead and do Magikarp and I'll try to spell Gyarados on the first try. Nailed it! I sure did nail it. I feel pretty good about that. We'll do Vulpix and Nine Tails, of course. And then, of course, uh, who else? Uh, it's so hard to do this without using the Poker Wrap. That's such a great tool because I can literally just um, say them out, say the whole Poker Wrap out loud, and and go, oh, I haven't done that Pokemon yet. That will make this so much more easier. Uh, more easier. Good job on grammar there. More easy is what the proper way to say that is. Um, I guess the other way I can do this is just start thinking of Pokemon that Ash encounters. Uh, which makes, of course, me think of Team Rocket with Meowth and Persian, and that means we also get coughing and wheezing and hacking. I already got Ekans and Arbok, so I don't know why I didn't put that in there earlier. I already got Mr. Mime. Uh, if I can get this up to 140, I'll be pretty pleased with myself without using the Poker Wrap. Um, man, this is so stupid that I'm blinking on these things. What is wrong with me? Um, we're just going to start thinking of some of our favorite Pokemon episodes here with the Diglett Dig, Diglett Dig, Trio, 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 and the Electabuzz where he goes back, <laughs> very entertaining. Uh, Scyther, of course, cannot forget Scyther, with the, the episode where Scyther was going up against Pikachu, uh, not against Pikachu, but there was a Scyther clan and an Electabuzz clan, and Pikachu had the ketchup bottle and it got red in the eyes of both of them and they just went berserk, that was entertaining. Uh, I also need to account for, um, the Nidorans. I don't know how this works. Oh, okay, it puts them both automatically. So we'll do the Nidorino and Nidorina. And we'll do the Nido King and Nido Queen. If you guys have not seen a speedrun of yellow version, or of any version really, uh, you'll know that Nita King is very, very important, and you want to get some good stats on the Nita King as well. Uh, it's something. It's uh, it's pretty amazing to see to see Nita King basically solo an entire version. Uh, who am I missing? Um, crap! I want to use the Poker Wrap so badly. I'll just I'll just think of the second generation Poker Wrap because that has no bearing here. Um, we'll go ahead and do Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff because I know that they come after Nine Tails. Uh, I don't think I have Onyx. I do not have Onyx. 
Gengar vs. Onyx in the very, very first episode of the Pokemon series. And it's funny that they're beside each other in the Pokedex as well. Um, who else am I missing? Some random ones like Seal and Dugong. Those are kind of always forgotten at the bottom of PU, just like Muck and Grimer. Uh, although Muck is pretty awesome. You can't hate on Muck too much. I mean, I guess you can because it's pollution, but it does come from pollution that humans create, so that's really our fault. Um, we're going to also put down here... Uh, I already got some of the other bugs, so we'll do Venomat, Venonat and Venomoth. Um, we'll do Goldeen and Seeking. It's like whenever I stop rambling, I can actually focus and see who, who, I, who I am missing. Who else am I missing though? Water types. I got the Vaporeon and I got a lot of the other... Um, wow, we're down to the last minute and a half here and I'm missing so many Pokemon and I know the moment I see them I'm gonna say, well, that was dumb. I don't know how I missed that. But again, if I can use a poker app, that would make this helpful. That would be uh, a lot easier, really. Uh, who else? In, there's got to be okay in in the Pokemon in Pokemon Snap. Who do you take pictures of? Uh, there's Jinx, and you got to make them dance with a poker flute. There is uh, Magmar, who gets defeated by Charmeleon, which is weird that I would get Electabuzz and not Magmar anyway. Uh, oh yeah, let's do Bell Sprout and Weepin Bell and Victory Bell. There we go. Huh, I never realized that Victory Bell has one L and Weepin Bell has two L's, likely because of the letter limit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What? That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they put two L's on the end of Victory Bell? Anyways, this might be um, some of the, the, the same issue they had with Feraligator here. Oh, I forgot Kangaskhan are talking about uh, Safari Zone Pokemon. And I'm in the last five seconds here, prepared to be annoyed at the Pokemon that I missed. Wow, I forgot Zubat. One of the most annoying, and I forgot one of my favorite Pokemon in the series, Kabutops and Kabuto. What is wrong with me? I am sick. I also forgot the awesomeness that is Pinsir. Uh, I, I could have done that a lot better. Could have done that a lot better. So 123 out of 151 on the first try. Not using the poker app. I'm very proud of that. 81%. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too angry about that performance. Um, I'd like to see how you guys do. So if you take the quiz, feel free to tweet me your results. You can find me on Twitter, of course, at, at @pokedex underscore swain. And uh, if you want to upload a video of you doing this, I will gladly watch it because it will probably be more entertaining than mine. So uh, let me know if you guys would like to see me do any of the other quizzes for the Pokemon series. Uh, if so, just always feel free to tweet them at me or leave your suggestions in the link in the comments of this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye now.